In today's funny story joke, we dive into the sun-soaked misadventures of Steve, a guy whose beach day turned into an unforgettable escapade. Picture this, a regular afternoon at the beach, where the biggest worry should be sunburn or a sandcastle mishap. But not for Steve. Oh no, Mother Nature had a different kind of prank up her sleeve, one that involved Steve, a pair of missing swim trunks, and a sand bucket with a twist. Buckle up, because this tale is about to take you on a wave of unexpected twists and chuckles. Once upon a sun-drenched afternoon, our hero, Steve, decided to visit the beach. Steve was a regular guy with a knack for attracting odd situations. That day, the beach was buzzing with life. Kids building sand castles, adults basking in the sun, and teenagers playing volleyball. Steve found a perfect spot, laid out his towel, and headed for the refreshing embrace of the ocean. For the first hour, everything was perfect. The sun was warm, the water was cool, and Steve was floating on his back, letting the waves gently rock him. But just as he was about to head back to shore, the waves had other plans. In a series of mischievous swells, they snatched his swim trunks away. One moment, he was floating blissfully, and the next, he was as bare as a newborn. Steve's initial reaction was a mix of shock and denial. He frantically padded around himself, hoping to find his missing trunks floating nearby. Alas, they were gone, probably halfway to the Caribbean by now. Panic set in. The beach was packed, and Steve was in no mood to put on a show. He decided his best bet was to stay in the water, where at least the waves could offer some modesty. He began his awkward water dance, pretending to be a deep sea explorer, plunging down every few seconds to inspect something underwater. Meanwhile, he prayed that everyone on the beach would either look away or, even better, disappear altogether. Hours passed. The sun moved across the sky, transforming Steve into a human prune. The beach gradually emptied, but there was always someone left, lingering like an annoying pop-up ad. Steve wondered if he'd ever feel warmth again, or if he was destined to become a cautionary tale about the dangers of ocean pranks. Finally, the sun began to set, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink. The beach was almost deserted. Almost. Steve noticed there was only one person left. A woman sitting near the water, scribbling in a notebook. It was now or never. Mustering his courage, Steve spotted a drifting sand bucket and grabbed it. He held it strategically, using it as a makeshift shield of modesty. With the determination of a soldier heading into battle, he waded toward shore. His heart pounded as he neared the woman, hoping she wouldn't notice him, or if she did, that she'd be mercifully understanding. Just as Steve started to relax, thinking he'd pulled off the greatest escape since Houdini, he caught the woman's eye. She glanced at him, then at his sand bucket. Steve, emboldened by his near success, decided to strike up a conversation. Hey there. He said trying to sound casual while clutching his sand bucket for dear life. The woman looked up from her notebook, a twinkle in her eye. And what if I may ask, are you writing? I'm a psychologist, she said, observing the last remaining beach dwellers like a seagull eyeing a long lost French fry. Steve chuckled nervously. Well, you've got quite a subject in front of you. Care to read my mind? But this funny story ain't over just yet. The psychologist smiled looking Steve up and down, then glancing pointedly at his trusty sand bucket. I think you thought that sand bucket has a bottom part. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.